All right, Weber State knew that it was already dancing, just needing to find out who they would play, where they would play, and when they would play. Arizona Wildcats are the number one seed, the fourth team out of the Pac-12. Who do they meet? 16th seed, Weber State. The Wildcats out of the Big Sky. They won the Big Sky regular season and tournament champion. Davion Berry, very good score. Team shoots it well from three. 20th best three-point shooting team in the country. The fourth team out of the Pac-12. Who do they meet? 16th seed. <laughs> Yeah, the team and fans inside the D-Event Center all pumped up that they get to head to San Diego hooking up with top seed Arizona Friday 12-10 tip-off time you, uh, here in Utah. We thought that Weber may be a 15th seed, but hey, they are in as a 16th seed and trying to do what no other 16th seed has ever done, beat a number one seed. I'm telling you, you know, in our situation, we knew it was going to be a top team in the country. And uh, I guarantee you one thing, a Wildcat's going to win. We get an opportunity, not most teams get an opportunity to play in March around this time, especially make the tournament. I'm just excited for my team and Weaver State will be playing on Friday. The Weber State Wildcat team, some of the fans in the D Event Center, as they heard their name called to play the top seed, Arizona. Weber State going in as the 16th seed. Randy Ray joins us now. Coach, congratulations. I mean, you're dancing for the first time since 2007. Arizona, top seed. No 16th team seed has ever defeated a one seed. History is going to happen this week. That's <laughs> well, we're, we're going to try really hard, Rod. I'll tell you that much. But uh, we're we're really excited, obviously. And uh, I thought our kids uh, this last weekend uh, we got through the first game, which was a tough one, you know. And that's always a nerve-wracking game. And Northern Colorado came in and had a game under their belt. We were fighting a little jitters, and we didn't play great. I had a feeling we were going to play better Saturday night, and our kids really responded. We played terrific basketball. So uh, really proud of our team and excited to be in the tournament. You know, it's a great honor and a privilege. It's been a while, and uh, it's, uh, it's about time. What was it like when you uh, heard your name called? When we saw Arizona pop up in San Diego, we were all saying, oh, Weaver State, Weaver State. We want to go to San Diego. <laughs> that would be fun. Uh, what was your thought when you saw that Weaver State coming up against Zona? We we're excited. We we're excited. Our kids want to play the best, and uh, uh, I think they're excited about playing Arizona. I think they're excited about we're in San Diego, which we're staying in the West, and we don't have to go all the way wherever east or whatever. And but our kids have always, uh, we've always kind of had the attitude we want to play the biggest and the best whenever we can and have an opportunity. Now, when you look at Arizona, I mean, you've seen them on national TV a lot. They got Nick Johnson, you know, their stud. Uh, he's going to be a, a hard guy to to uh, defend any. He? He's a handful. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to be playing against Damian next year. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's how good he is. Yeah. But, but uh, he's really good, obviously, MVP of the league. And then, uh, the, you know, the big freshman inside, Aaron Gordon, is just an, an absolute beast. But I really think, and I've watched him a few times just flipping through channels, uh, the McConnell kid at the point guard has really brought their team together. Uh, they, they hadn't had a true point guard in the last couple of years. He's a true point guard. He really, uh, he's kind of their guy. But you have your leaders uh, playing the best basketball of the season. Davion Berry uh, obviously came up big in the semifinal game. Kyle Tresnak a season a career high 27 last night in the title game. And then Jordan Richardson hitting some big shots in that uh, semifinal game as well. So your core leadership, they're really playing well. You know, they are. And that's, that's what you hope for. You always talk about getting your guys to play their best basketball at the right time. Well, it really comes down to how many guys on your team are playing well at that time. And we've got a lot of guys playing well right now. And you, you mentioned Trez and, and Davion and Jordan, but also Joel Blomboy's been playing pretty yeah. well. Uh, Jeremy Singlin's been playing really Kendall well. Kendall Hill has been jumping out of the Kendall gym. Kendall Hill and Rashad Giddens. I feel like all those guys, our core guys, uh, have really uh, played really well here the last couple weeks and, and are kind of moving forward. All right. As a coach, you know, you're, you're going to be a psychiatrist this week. Mm. You're going to be a Zen master. How are you going to approach this <laughs> week? I'm in trouble because I'm not smart <laughs> enough to do any of that. You better get a Phil Jackson book then. That's right. <laughs> uh, how are you going to approach this week and get your kids not to get too overhyped and too overwhelmed that they've never been there before? You know, there, there won't have to be a lot of rah-rah speeches, obviously. Sure. You know, they're going to be excited to play and all that. So our whole thing is just we're going to go do what we do. You know, we don't have to change. We're going to try to be, be, be what we are. Uh, uh, and just go out and, and take a swing at him. Uh, okay, last night in the Big Sky title game, Davion Berry hit the uh, three-pointer at the buzzer. He turned around and gave a high five to Damian Lillard. How cool was that to have your former player 
leave the Blazers when they're not playing them, and you know, be there to support you guys. It was awesome. It was awesome. He texted me during the week and he said, Coach, I got a plan all ready to go for Saturday night. And I, so I texted him back and says, Well, I guess we better win Friday night. <laughs> he says, Well, I'm planning on it. And I said, Well, so are we. And he showed up and it was great. He's, you know, he's family. He, he is, he's as close to us now as he's ever been, uh, you know, even when he played for us. But uh, I saw that. Uh, I didn't notice it at the time. Uh, Davey, I, I noticed Davian making the shot, but then I saw it on uh, the replays where Damien was there and yeah. slapped him five, and I thought that was pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, well, it should be an exciting week. We'll be yeah. following you down to San Diego, uh, taking you on the top seed to Arizona. Looking forward to it. Yeah, we are, too. We're really excited about it and uh, can't wait for it to get here. Okay, Coach. Thanks, Rad. Good sure luck and uh, see you in San Diego Thanks for on having Friday. Me. Appreciate it.